Well, hello everyone. Hi, welcome to Playframe and Monster Hunter World Iceborne again. It has been some time. Some of you, actually probably a fair number of you, probably don't remember we ever started playing this. It was literal years ago that we started playing through Monster Hunter World Iceborne and then I got distracted and just stopped. But um, well, another Monster Hunter game is coming out in a year or so and I'm excited about it and it got me thinking, you know, I really should actually see the end of this previous one before it comes out, so we're back. We're back in. It's Juriel, it's Gwibbers, ready to continue the hunting, and also, it's two others. Say hello once again to returning champions and ringers, <laughs> Lady Jingle, accompanied by Samson. Hello! <laughs> Looking extremely <laughs> muscly and built, You, Lady Jingle has come a long way since Monster Hunter World. Iceborne's treated you well. Oh yeah, like, like, after after we did our you know like oh I'll show you the ropes with the elder dragons and then and then like Fatalis came out and Alatreon came out and it was like okay I gotta I gotta put on my 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 hunting gear. <laughs> <laughs> now clearly you have trained intensely and that that's good because I know I am rusty. I expect you're a little rusty as well. It has been a bit. I've practiced some, but um, I don't remember a lot. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, uh, I, I definitely shook off the rust earlier today because I was like, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, incoming embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there, there will be a non-zero amount of embarrassment in these first couple episodes and hunts back, I expect, but that's okay. Like I said, literal years ago, it is just like riding an angry bike and turning it into a hat. And that's what we're going to ultimately do here. And you're very well geared. Man, that food still looks really good. It looks so good. So I know, really like, good. I know we're going to be rambling a lot about how excited we are for uh, Wilds, the successor to this coming out in 2025. Mm -hmm. What kind of food are the cats going to make us in that game? Because I'm so excited to find out. Ooh, yeah, that is that is the question, right? Mm, I want to know. What if they load us up with carbs, get some pizza going, like a big, a big <laughs> pizza oven? <laughs> And a Monster Hunter pizza pie would be like 12 feet wide. Right? It'd be huge. <laughs> it would just have an entire like slab of meat from something enormous on it. Oh yeah, it's 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 the like gimmick pizzas where it's just a pizza and then like a whole roast turkey on top of it. Yeah, absolutely. Toppings the size <laughs> of your head. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So this is going to be real weird. Next assigned story quest for me. Um I the last ones I'd done uh were Brachidios and Tigrex. So now I'm going to go fight the like mascot monster of this expansion, uh, Velcana. So that, that'll that be a fun thing to just dive right back into. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Easy. Easy. Easy fight. By the way, for anybody, and I honestly, this is for everybody who's watching this. Um, if you want a refresher on what has happened before, which again, literal years ago, uh, the playlist is down below. Uh, enjoy seeing me stumble through some of these earlier hunts, the first 10 hunts in the game, very excitedly and probably much more slowly because I did not have a Lady Jingle then at that time accompanying me. I think it's going to be a pretty different story here. <laughs> I'm excited to see. Let's go catch up with all of the exciting Monster Hunter characters like um, Handler and the other one, you know. Serious Handler. Serious Handler. <laughs> Don't, can't forget them. <laughs> Business Handler and Party Handler. Here we go. Hi, Handler. I got very distracted. What did I miss? <laughs> Before I left, my grandfather gave me this shard. I think he brought it back from the New World. Yeah, I know. The rules say take nothing back. But still, he wanted me to... Partner, tell me. Why do you think people leave their homes, and also their loved ones? Knowing that they may never make it back home. I wonder what my grandfather was thinking, bringing this thing back with him. He was a carefree man, but he took researching this very seriously. In the end, he never did find out what it was. Why did he bring it back with him? Why me? 
Maybe he was thinking, she'll get the job done. Forty years ago, their expedition failed, so they left it to the next generation, hoping we'll succeed. And now we're here because someone believed in us. So you know what? We won't fail. I know it. Let's get you ready, partner. There's still work to do. There we are. I don't know how far in I have to get before you're allowed to join me. It's probably going to do the, like, go run, find the thing, play the cutscene, then I'll join. I'm just hovering over the menu, so, like, the second it pops up, I'll join in. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I do hope that uh, when Wilds comes along, they found a more elegant solution to playing co-op main missions than this. Yeah. Agreed. With people. But, okay, here's a cutscene. Now there is a pretty looking dragon. I'm in. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. That's faster than I expected this dragon to move. Yeah, they're they're quick. They're also like they're little. They're a little lad. Yeah. They're much smaller than I thought they'd be from the cover art. Yeah, right. I was expecting larger. Goodness. But uh, they can they can put out some damage. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm learning that very quickly. Hey, Valkana, can you chill? I wasn't ready. Nope. You keep that tail to yourself, please. My tag team partner isn't even like here yet. I'm here. Oh, there you are. Let's go. I remembered a thing. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm going in with a blast element uh, lance. Which is honestly a little bit weaker than the... Uh... <laughs> okay, I've not seen that device before, but I love it. <laughs> oh, yes. It's, so it's, it, it, it just aggroes for it. It's really good. <laughs> That's amazing. I think it's one of the new ones for Iceborne. Darn, Muster Hunter is good. <laughs> right. Also, uh, uh, one thing to know, and you know, in case mm -hmm. you're like super aiming to get that tail cut. Yeah. It's one of those monsters where it's the like really tip of the tail. It's like. Oh, that's good to know. Because, yeah, I oftentimes will be aiming for, like, the base of the tail since that's way easier to reach. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a tough hitbox. It's kind of like a Kushala. Mm. Now I'm, like, tempted to see if Samson has any other fun toys I can do. What can he do? What's this one? <laughs> Feeling like Lance was very much a good choice here. Oh, that Ow. was the same thing. Okay, okay. Still got some fight. Left in it. Still got some fight. What, it, we, the fight just started. It seemed like it still had some fight. I sure hope so. No. Yeah, that's a really cool dragon. I like it. Yeah.
That ice breath is mean, though. Goodness. Yep. Yep. Oh, big, big whiff on my part. I gotta say, like, from going back and forth between Rise and Iceborne, yeah. I really like the Clutch Claw a lot more than the bugs. It... I don't know, it just... The, the bugs are fun with their their movement and stuff like that, obviously. Yeah, the traversal with the bugs is rad, I agree. But for fighting, I actually like the Clutch Claw better, too. Picking up little, like, ammo types and using them, and then, like, if finding other things to hit, and... And, and then, like, the mounting and grappling on monsters feels so fun. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I, I'm curious, uh, like, what your preference between World and Rise ended up being since you played a lot more both, I think, than me. Uh, definitely World and uh, Iceborne. Yeah. Rise, I think, um... I, I, Rise was my kind of introduction to the, like, when, when people were like, all the weapons in world are too boring and and normal looking i was like <laughs> oh what do you mean and then like i see some of the fun silly things in uh rise and i was like oh now i get it yeah there's some goofiness damn nice quivers but yeah i i think the like mounted combat with those finishers i liked that a lot more than like getting on the monsters and driving them into other monsters yeah it was it was cool it was a fun gimmick i just i think i like this gimmick better i think i agree like that seems like the big challenge for monster hunter is like finding a way to add new gimmicks and mechanics that are useful but not so useful that they then become like the only way to start or end or win fun. like the thing that you just have to mandatorily do to yeah <laughs> make hunts go quickly and where it just gets repetitive and tedious Way more pokey with that tail than I was expecting. Dang, those wings look rad, though. Ah, the old flash pod. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, how I missed you. <laughs> nope. That's new. It's a little patch of cold. It's neat. It's a little patch of cold. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, so the fight's probably over pretty soon, you know. <laughs> you know Is that right? Pretty, it's a pretty nice <laughs> quick one. You know, the way you say that. <laughs> it's comforting, right? Makes me feel like maybe... Okay, I'm glad I can block this cold breath thing. I kept on trying to, like, dash out of the way anytime it happened, but no. Nothing blocks the cold like a shield. <laughs> oh, I almost got a good tail hit. That tail moves so much, like, having to manage to hit that, uh, just tip of it. Yeah. Challenging. Hey, there's something happening. I have to take a screenshot of this for you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it, it is just a glowing head on Valkana where I hit. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious. Yeah, that's intense. Weird we didn't get to carve or anything.
There's an added comedy value I'm now finding to Monster Hunter, like action cutscenes when you're playing with a lance and have a huge shield on you, but that your hunter never uses to defend themselves. Yeah. <laughs> they like hold up an arm. <laughs> or the arm without the shield. If only I could block this attack. <laughs> Oh, that thing looks so cool. Fissure runs through here. one step ahead then and now at least you left me some homework what is Successful quests. <laughs> Yay. In previous episodes, I just do like one hunt per episode, but um, that was pretty quick. I feel like we could do... <laughs> I feel like we could do multiple. We, we sneak in. Like, it was a, yeah, that wasn't even like a... Right? <laughs> hun hunt. Like, if you haven't carved something, then you've not hunted. Yeah, what's the point? <laughs> or you fainted, I guess. Now that everyone's here, let us begin. First, how are you feeling? It's thanks to you that we were able to repel Volcano. We wouldn't have stood a chance on our own. Terrific work. Now then, speaking of Volcano, there's still the question of where it's retreated to. Elaborate, if you would. Gladly, sir. After its, if I may say so, harrowing battle with the A-listers, Valkana suddenly transformed its carapace and flew in retreat toward the hinterlands. We still have no idea why it transformed, let alone what reason it had for going to the Elder's recess in the first place. And this is just my personal theory, but I think that Valkana didn't exactly retreat. I think it simply left the Elder's recess after finishing whatever it had gone there to do. What reason could an Elder Dragon from an Arctic environment have for traveling to the Everstream in the Elder's Recess? I believe it might have something to do with the startling metamorphosis of its outer shell. Whatever the case, we'll need to investigate more. One last thing, sir. This newly transformed Valkana seems to be building unbelievable strength. If we don't do something, Seliana could be in danger. Then there's no time to waste. Field team, return to the hinterlands and locate Velcro. See, here's a question since we've both played both of these games. Provisions, when you tech, hear the voice actor who does the commander defenses. in this, we'll provide weapons and you recognize him because he's got a distinct voice, do you immediately think the commander in this or do you think our, like, uh, coffee shop dad in Persona 5? Be swift, but remember. Each careful oh, you know, I I think I still do mistake. commander. Maybe the difference between success. I th and I, I, I think I think it's too. That is all. Dismissed. It's too uh um, like regiment sounding, like yeah. That's I guess that's the thing. Like if he, it depends on how much authority he's putting in the voice. <laughs> yeah. If it, if it's like a laid back, like oh hey, like it, then it'll get me. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> You're back. <laughs> like, okay, okay. <laughs> like, I see you. All right. I'm finally out of cutscenes and post cutscene chats. I now am told to head to the Horfrost Reach for an expedition of sorts. Ooh. Which I don't know if that's. I guess it's just an expedition. We can probably do that with two people, maybe? I don't know. Let's experiment. Yeah, if it's an expedition, for sure, right? I assume so. Like, even if they're taking me out there for a story reason, I'm assuming we're just going to encounter something mean in the wild. We have to find Valkana. And I can encounter something That's mean in the wild with a friend. The the chief said he was oh man, what, what, what rank am I? <laughs> Probably higher than me, I'd assume. 111, yeah. 111, yeah, no, that's quite a bit higher than... Uh, Master rank 111. Quite a bit higher than, let me see here... Yep, 12. So, uh... <laughs> I was just looking at my, like, quests, or, like, my assigned quests, and I was like, wait, I finished one that was Master rank 99? What do you mean I did? <laughs> yeah, no, you're up there. Your your muscles tell the story. You look like a... <laughs> you look like a 111 Master rank Monster Hunter. All right. Oh, man, I'm remembering some of the fun fights, Dan. Oh, man. I'm really excited for the fun fights. I guess I don't even need to, like, take on an assignment of any sort. I can just grab my items and head out on an expedition. No one can stop me. <laughs> They'll try. They'll try. But good luck. My lance explodes. What are you going to do? Depart on an expedition to the Horfrost Reach. There's that good snow. Velcon has got to be somewhere around here. Let's get searching for clues. I've got Handler here running around with me. So I'm guessing joining me may be challenging. Yeah. Velcon transformed. Its power was overwhelming. A first wave Aryan. Let's ask about Vulcana. Um, can you... It might just be a thing. It might just be a thing. Yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, yeah, I can't fire the SOS flare yet. So, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, I was looking through there and I was like, I think that opens it up even, like, beyond lobby. Yeah. Very startling. You're still here. I thought you would have left. The weak flee the strong. It is nature's course. But it is also instinct to stand and fight. Mm. It's instinct to stand and fight. All we can do for now is press forward. Come on, Gwebbers. No notable changes to the ecosystem so far. It does feel real good being back in a Monster Hunter. Right. Even if it's an old one. What's that? It just anytime I get to play him again, I'm like, so man, it is so like the itch here. to just get back in and, and grind for, for cool gems and, yeah. and get the build that I want. It's like, I, I do want to do that. I do like that a lot. <laughs> it's a real good time. That looks like. It is very fun. You know, so, so, you know, the, I wanted to mention this to you before, because mainly for bragging rights, um, Ooh. Out, outside of, you know, Fatalis and Alatran, the, so the buff body layered armor that I'm wearing, uh huh. do you know, do you know how to one acquires such a layered armor? I have no idea. So, so, you know, you know, a little thing, audience, uh, a little, a little creature known as Rajang, right? I've I, that's a that's a name on face I'm familiar with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> from past monster hunters. And you know his angry version, Furious Rajang. Yeah. Um now picture you in an arena with two of them. We know she was Oh no. And that's it. That sounds awful. It's you versus two Furious Rajang. That's terrifying. <laughs> uh it's and it's a nightmare. One lesser less furious one is 
scary, at least early on. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, like, in the arena, too. So it's, like... It's tiny space. Super tiny close quarters. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was terrible. But I did it. <laughs> yeah, you earned it. I earned it. You earned your muscles. <laughs> I remember when they, like, announced, like, hey, this, this is coming through, like, a, a quest. And I saw the quest, and I was like, but I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, can I do a different one? <laughs> Any other monster, please? <laughs> There's more here. And another set of tracks beside it. The first Are Rajang seemed here? pretty furious to me. I know. I didn't know we could get more mad. <laughs> and on the small side, too. It's gotta be her. They're headed in the same direction as the Valkanas. You don't think... Up there! What in the world did that? Handler, we can't take you anywhere. The cloth from the ship looks just like this. Classic Handler. I'm sure of it. No. How did... Is she... fighting it now. Hello, Legiana. <laughs> A shrieking one. That's fun. I wonder how much am I allowed to... Uh, no, not really. No SOS flares on this one. Oh, interesting. Just got to complete this little expedition here. Huh. Guess you and I are podcasting in the meantime <laughs> oh yeah if you uh, so you are very very much a great sword main and have been for as long as i've known of you playing monster hunter has like has there been another weapon that you've ever dabbled in or been tempted to so so when um it's it's funny you you mentioned this because when when i first when we first became friends and i was like first getting into monster hunter um, and I picked it up on the the PS4. I, I was only I only used Switch X. Oh right, I forgot about that. Yeah, I I was I was like I had no idea what thing to stick with, and I I tried them all. I did like the tutorial to see which ones I liked, and I was like, oh, this is kind of a cool idea, and I just stuck with it, and I never really tried anything else. Um, and then uh, I think I had just like finished all the like the base level quests got credits and stuff like that and started doing the uh you know like the arenas where they give you a set armor set and weapon to use yeah i started just doing those for fun because i was like oh there's an armor set locked behind these coins that you get and i was doing that and i got assigned a great sword and i was trying it out and i was like this is 
this is hitting all the right parts of my brain. <laughs> I was like, I'm home. Um, so when I finally switched over to PC, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start with Greysword and see if I, I like it. And I've never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like you found the weapon that spoke to you. It does exactly what you want. Yep. It's like I've dabbled in a bunch. And I think I'm maybe coming to terms with the fact that Lance, even though it's not the one I'd have necessarily picked out of the lineup, the Lance just might be that weapon for me. But even against certain monsters, I feel like I would switch it up. Same. I, um, like, uh, when we, when we did, um, when we fought, like, Xenojiva, like, that sword, that, that fight with the Great Sword is just, like, a pain. So I was like, I, for that fight, I'll do, I'll go to bow. Oh, yeah? I'll switch over to bow, and I love it. <laughs> it's a good time. But it's only because that fight isn't fun with the Greatsword. Like, it, every other fight, though, is, is fun with Greatsword, it feels. Yeah. Yeah, I do have that handful of uh, fights that are just... Either I need to gear up just right to, like, deal with Blights or whatever else that the Lance is just bad at avoiding, or, or if it's a monster that's just flying all the time that I can never reach, a bow makes that a little nicer. Yeah. It's it's like in Dark Souls when you're fighting when you go to fight Nito, you go and get a blessed weapon. Even if it's not what you're using, <laughs> you just do it. Just doing yourself a favor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank us later. <laughs> Pro tip. Oh man, can you like last time we recorded this, we didn't even know Elden Ring existed. It was so long ago. Okay, I'm very off. I'm <laughs> not right now, man. I okay. I'm in the middle of something. It was so long ago. You're right. We didn't know it existed, and now we're just like kind of killing time until the uh, the mod scene gets everything all working with the uh, DLC for our little randomizer co-op thing. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun, man. It is gonna be a blast. I can't wait. Very off. Please. Guy, I'm doing other things today. Did um so so in your your playthrough of this? Yeah. I, I know I know it's probably hard to remember some of it. Um it's been a bit. Did you did you fight other elder dragons for Iceborne yet? I don't think so. If I can remember kind of like the full list so far, and it was only like 10 monsters, uh, there was, you start out with uh, Beatados, that's sort of mm -hmm. like ice fish. Then there's uh, Bambaro. Then it's like Vi then it's like several new regional variants, basically, like right, uh, the Viper, Toby Kanachi. Yeah, I don't even know if we've done the Fulgar Andronath yet, but like we've oh. seen him. Okay, okay, okay. But it was like Viper Tobi Kadachi, it was uh Coral Puke Puke. Uh there's uh Brachidios, Tigrex, Nargakuga, Berioth. Now there's now there's a regular Legiana and a shrieking one, and which one do I shoot? <laughs> which one do I shoot? <laughs> One, it's it's the which one do I shoot? But one of them screaming bloody bird. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the shrieking one. <laughs> oh, they're fighting each other for them. Oh, they're not anymore. I was gonna sharpen, but okay. So if I if I just said the word Splatoon to you about monster, yeah. does that mean anything to you? Hmm. Splatoon monster hunter. I'd maybe have like one, I'd have like one guess as to who that might refer to, but I'm not sure. And the fact that okay. I'm not sure probably means I don't, I have not run into them yeah, yet. Yeah, even, even the hesitation told me all I needed to know. <laughs> Cause I'm just going through the like- Something to look forward the, to. The like quest list here and just looking at these monsters. I'm like, I forgot so many of these guys existed. Like, <laughs> but I'm like, I don't remember which ones you've done and not for Iceborne. Because there's a, lo there's a lot of really fun ones they added. Yeah. So I'm I'm only remembering just now, too. 
Yeah, I, I think thus far it has been two new ones, which are the first two, mm -hmm. and then uh, like five regional variants and three or four old favorites that are coming that were not in world but were coming back for Iceborne. But uh, Valkana was, I think, like the third new one that I've run into so far. Okay, so you did you did Tigrex and Brachydios, and now you're on Valkana. Yeah. And you just and you just are seeing the shrieking Legiana right now. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. From here, it's all all not done yet. Perfect. Good. Lots to look forward to as soon as I get this regular Valkana to go away and kill the shrieking one. Go away. Ooh. Thank you. No, not you. You stay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So go. Huh? <laughs> this is good. It's forcing me to make sure I've got enough fundamentals that I can still actually manage a successful hunt without you. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I did... There, there were like a few things that I'm glad when I did the brush up of like eating before a meal. I had I kind of just totally spaced on doing that and like mm -hmm. um, re resetting my my loadout and making sure my radial menu was good. Which, to be honest, I feel like I only use one section of my radial menu. Yeah, kind of the same. Which is just sharpened. <laughs> I think I failed to remember to do the food before this uh, expedition just because I wasn't necessarily expecting it to go right into a, the next hunt without being able to call in help. Though I should have expected. That's what yeah. I've done before. It's a, cl it's a classic. They love to do it. <laughs> they love it. Where are my berries? There it is. We're still fighting. Stop running away. You started this. Come down here. A little dicier than I needed that to be, but nope, nope. Come on. So what's a little dicey, Monster Hunter? If not Monster Hunter, <laughs> <laughs> that's just Monster Hunter, baby. That's Ow. just it. Playing one of these down. These are really great. I really love these health booster spray things, especially for something like Lance, where you can just like tank up in a spot, get comfy. Oh, yeah. Let them come to you. So nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point, too, because like normally those things are like, I just run in it and then like, okay, dodge out of it. Like just, just get a little slurping, but you can really just kind of sit on that, can't you? You really can, yeah. That is... That is nice. I'm jealous. It really is. I've learned over time, like... Lance, when you first try it out, feels like the least mobile, the slowest weapon there is. And in some ways it is, but, like, I think... The journey of getting better at Lance is realizing bit by bit that actually this thing is bonkers mobile. You just have to use all your different abilities in specific ways to get, like, little hops or to, like, do a little choo-choo charge sort of a mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> oh, Dan, I feel like a, a, a silly donkus. What? <laughs> so I was looking at, like, my equipment, seeing if I needed to upgrade anything, kill time, and, like, I made the Fatalis sword, 
and I had enough to upgrade it this whole time, but it's been sitting on the lower tier. That's a lot of damage that I could have had. That's so much damage. The numbers could have been so much bigger this whole time. They could have. <laughs> it was a fool, I tell you. It's just big numbers left on the table. Who left their big numbers out? <laughs> it's going to spoil. <laughs> What's the shelf life on big numbers before they go bad? Ugh. It's got to be, you know, pretty, pretty big because, you know, a lot of numbers. <laughs> a lot of numbers. You don't have to throw all that out. It's wasteful. I've been... It's, it's, a, it's a weird sensation of, like, ever since I stopped drinking normal, like, dairy milk, you know? Yeah. I've, 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 I've gone to oat milk now is my, is my new comfy. Ooh. But my brain still defaults to, like, milk expiration date. Mmm. Of, like, you buy it, you need to drink that milk quick. Like, you gotta... Yeah. You don't have Eat long. Eat cereal. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I just bought a thing of oat milk, and it's like, it goes bad in November. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I think I'll finish it before then. God, I forgot. Like, I've had oat milk before, but I did not remember it being that long. <laughs> it's it's wild. I, 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 I feel like it's a joke. And they're just like, they're just having <laughs> jokes there at the oat milk factory. They're like, oh, just, yeah, push the date further. See how long people keep it. <laughs> it's like, this stuff doesn't actually go bad. We're just putting it on here <laughs> to emphasize the difference. Like, just, just give me like at least a month to get through my milk and I'll be good. Yeah. It's like, that's, that's a natural, like enough cereal bowls or using it for cooking. And then I'm, I'm through with it. I don't need half a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wonder, do they ever add like um, like layered armor, but for weapons to this game? I feel like that would be a that would be cool. Nice thing to have. Yeah, that would like kind of complete your capabilities, like your fashion hunter capabilities. Yeah, I'd love them to do that. Like, honestly, the layered armor thing and the, like, robustness of layered armor seems like something that's sort of more recent and newer for them in more recent games anyway. Mm -hmm. I could see, like, they're sort of still warming up to it and expanding these systems. I could see it being a thing that, uh, Wilds does let you do eventually. Maybe you gotta work for it. You gotta work. Gotta earn it. Fortunately, you gotta earn it by just doing the fun thing you wanted to do anyway. Fighting two furious Rajangs in a tiny arena. And then you, and then you realize, was it worth it? <laughs> and you go, yes. Rajang's one of the ones we're gonna have to deal with in the campaign, right? Or is that just like a later thing? I don't recall. I feel like probably yes, but I don't remember. Because I feel like they were also just adding a bunch of like, hey, here's a special assignment, special assignment, special assignment, along with Iceborne's release. And I don't remember what yeah. official, like what's in the quest log and what's just a bonus. Yeah, it is wild, like how much they, uh, is that pretty wrong, like Yana? No wonder it wasn't dying fast enough. It doesn't shriek enough. If you weren't yelling, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> It's your defining trait. This is on, this is on you. <laughs> <laughs> there is something funny actually about the variants that like where the like all right, coral puke puke that sort of like sort of describes like their coloration. Uh, nightshade palamook kind of the same. Furious Rajang or like shrieking like uh, not Valkana, shrieking this one, Legiana, mm -hmm. almost sounds like the sort of nickname distinctions that you have to give to, like, people that your friend group knows that are sort of like acquaintances, but they aren't, like... Like, we already know Greg. This is Tall Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know... Remember Tall Greg? Like, we know Legiana. This is Shrieking Legiana. You know that one. No, no, like, not... Not, <laughs> not like, dyed hair Legiana. Shrieking Legiana. Remember? Yeah, totally different. 
Totally different. Always yelling. Not regular Legiana, infinite HP Legiana. That one. Yeah. That's the distinction. Mm hmm. That's how you can tell. Because, yeah, I'm just looking through like weapons and it's like, I have a bunch of cool swords and I'll probably never use them again because they're worse than the one you have. <laughs> they're worse than the new one. Yeah. It's not a great spot to be. No! Save me, Quivers. We've probably had this conversation about Monster Hunter. Or do you, do you have a favorite monster? Hmm. I got a few. I like for cool looking. I think it's Gormagala. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, for goofy and just like fun, I think it's Zamtrios. Zamtrios. And I feel like I think both of them got added to Rise at some point. Uh, Water Balloon Shark. Yes, he is. Okay, he's not in it, but... Oh, he's not. Okay. It's weird because the baby versions of him are, like, as a random right. wildlife, but not as Hunt. Ah, uh, I wish. I love Water Balloon Shark. <laughs> it needs to come back. He is great. I remember the one of the earlier Monster Hunters having him and just seeing that, and I'm like, this is, this is perfect, this creature. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would like, I would like to see him. Fingers crossed for wilds. They got so many monsters at this point that like they really can like they've got an infinite backlog that they can pull from. Yeah, and like lots of monsters that we haven't seen in numerous games at this point, just because they got so dang many, and they keep adding more. Yeah, I was happy we we finally got like return of some insects and crabs. Yeah, in uh, in rise that made me very happy because those were great. This is just a kind of cool new uh, creature. I don't even think I got far enough to fight any of those. I just loved them. <laughs> yeah. It was good. It's good. Yeah. Sorry it's taking so long. The crabs for sure. Oh, no, you're good. Crabs definitely stand out as, like, new favorites for me. Did Rise add both the, like, regular crab and the one that, like, gets in, is in, like, a Diablo skull, basically? Yeah, so they added, I, I think, they definitely added the Diablo Skull one. Heck yeah. And I don't know if it's the same one, but there's one that it's like a katana crab. Whoa. And he, uh, he's basically his like claws are like scythe kind of katana vibes. And he just causes bleeding with like every hit. And he's spicy. That's cool. <laughs> he's really neat though. It was one of those satisfying things too, as a like greatsword user, because you get it, and it's like the greatsword is just the claw, and it's like yes, yeah. Oh, that's exactly what I would want. It's the right way. Where are you? How do I get to you? That's where I go. Okay, I get it. As much time as I put in a Monster Hunter world, like because I've done so relatively little Iceborne, there's actually like lots of nooks and crannies of a. Uh, the Horfrost Reach specifically that I am not super familiar with. Still get a little lost. I remember uh, years back, I think I think I did it for like birthday or something like that. I was just I was just like, I'm gonna stream and I'm I'm just going to do the like the rare endemic life hunt Ooh. to you know decorate my apartment. Yeah. In uh in, in the game. And I just did that, and it was like, you know, a lot of reloading the area because it only spawns, like, at certain times or weather or whatnot. And just and just hunting. And it was, like, finding all these little areas of the maps that I'm like, I don't know if I've ever been here for a few of them. And it was pretty fun. I don't even think I got them all. Yeah, that is, like, fun going on those hunts. <laughs> yeah, I did a few of those, like, event quest ones to get specific little goodies. And it was like, I've never been out here. Or yeah. noticed that there were just, like, little penguins hanging out. It was great. What's your favorite uh, monster uh, that you've encountered thus far? Ooh. You know, uh, there... 
I almost I, I'd have to I'd have to think on it for a minute, but a lot of the new monsters they added for uh, Sunbreak were fantastic. Like yeah, so so many like the flagship guy for Sunbreak. I can't remember his name, but he's like the drag. He's the vampire dragon, and I was yeah. like, yeah, he's really cool, and it's a super fun fight. Oh, that's great. They, they like hammed it up in that DLC and it's so good. Like once you realize the theme of what they did for Sunbreak is really good. I never got as far as Sunbreak and Rise. And I don't think I would do it. Uh, I don't think I would do it on the channel here. Mm -hmm. but I really should get further in just to see at some point. I, I have been like outside of doing this now um i was like i was like man i kind of want to just get back into monster hunter again i was like what if i did rise on pc like a few friends started playing it again i'm like do i do that or do i just wait for wilds like <laughs> you got time like it 2025 feels close but then it also like <laughs> yeah as soon as you start counting the days boy it's so far away it's so far but yeah we I played through I played through all of um all of base game rise. I did I did like all there was to do in base game. In Sunbreak, we I got the credits and did a few fights after credits. Um mm -hmm. But it didn't feel it it, it definitely felt pocket sized to me compared to Iceborne and World. Yeah. The fact that they yeah, that they in addition to uh, all of the, I guess they do this in Rise as well, that, that they do keep adding just entire monsters, which adds so much to the game every time. Uh, even just in post-release stuff, like, hey, this monster's in the game now. Yeah. And all the gear that you can get from it and all that stuff, like, and that they kept doing it for years for both World and Iceborne. It's, there's so much game in this now. And there's so much game and, like, the whole Guiding Lands area is, like, a whole new thing to do once you're once you're like already through the game it's like hey here's this new stuff you can do and it's like okay and they, they there was a kind of a thing like that with sunbreak and rise where like if you did certain quests at certain times it would give you like this new material i vaguely remember grinding it for with friends for a bit but i don't remember what it did for you <laughs> <laughs> All that to say, I didn't I didn't enjoy the like end game grind in Rise and Sunbreak as much as I did in this. Yeah, I'm really curious to see that. Uh because I've like heard people throwing terms around like a like guiding lands and Safa Jiva and stuff like that, but uh I've not gotten far enough to see what any of that stuff is, and you were describing a little bit of it to me before we started, and that sounds rad. It's it's so cool. It's it's the equivalent of like I don't, like, I don't I don't even know a good way. Like it just feels like the best way to play Monster Hunter of like I'm just going in and hunting and I'll stop when I feel like it. Like you know. Yeah, like, like like what an amazing way to like expand the game once you've finished ostensibly the campaign. Like here's an even just cooler better mode. Yeah. You get dung potted, leave. And it's, like, it's weird because I don't even think I would have realized how much I enjoyed it if you if you like pitched it to me before playing it because it's like oh you know when you beat the monster and then you carve the monster and then the quest ends and you go back and you reget your stuff and it's like what if the quest didn't end and you just you just killed everything on the map and it, and then the map kept getting repopulated you just keep going and you're like yeah. And like, what about what about eating and resupply? Hey, you can do that whenever you want. You just go back to the little base camp. And it's and and it's not like you can faint as many times as you want. It just kind of like lowers rewards for that fight. Yeah. But you don't. You're not like oh, you fainted three times. Back back to Celiana with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that does sound really nice, honestly. Especially just for like hunting with friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a really good like. Like whenever we hang out and stuff, like outside of recording, it's just like, 
put a game on and we can chat it's that's exactly what it yeah. is and it feels so good heck yes Got it down to 30% now, I think, if that little drops. A bit of ammo is any indication. <laughs> its days are numbered. More numbers than I'd like, but... <laughs> There's a lot of numbers. Big numbers. There's a lot of numbers. They're big numbers. They keep a long time. Yeah. Big numbers, big snake, big snake. <laughs> What? There's more than one Monster Hunter creature that I feel like Big Snake could refer to if we wanted it to. Just try to get to decide which, though. Mm hmm Which one is Big Snake? I do... I think... I think... What's the... Oh, what's the... Alan... Alan Muldron? Alan Muldron? Something... Something from Rise? What was his name? Is that the Mud Dragon from Rise? Yeah, the Mud Dragon. Yeah, uh, I like that one. I think that'd be a good big snake. I like that. Yeah, I would love like a, a, a actual snake, like no limb snake monster. I feel like that would be very fun. Just yeah, just coiling up and that'd be pretty cool actually. Yeah, I'd be down for that. With the uh, the teaser for Wilds that they put out, or the, the, the teaser trailer for it, mm -hmm. Wait, before that thing like started walking, I saw it and I was like, oh, it's a worm. It's like an actual worm. And then it got legs and I was like, oh, boo. <laughs> they chickened out. Had to give it feet. Had to give it feet. Almodron. Oh, that's the Al name of it. Al Almud Almudron. There he is. He's he's very snake like he kinda whips around. Yeah, I do kind of remember it, uh, doing some of that coiling and playing in the mud and stuff like that. That was really cool. That one can be Big Snake. Ow. I guess, uh, what was it, what's that one? Bits, Bitsune? Yeah, the bubble one. Yeah. They're, they're, they, they, they kind of have the same feel. But it's the same rig. They're really good about using, like, finding creatures that can share an animation rig, but it doesn't really feel like it too much. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't don't worry, Dan. Just because you are not present doesn't mean embarrassment's not okay, happening. Good. A plenty, so don't worry. <laughs> I got you covered. Good, good. good I'm whittling good. it down, but it has definitely gotten some faints. It's mostly the fact that there are two Legiana, <laughs> both being Dinguses hanging out. Yeah, they, that them ganging up is very unfair. Very. It's giving me time to think more about favorite monsters. That's good. I'm now trying to think of a variant of that question. Like, so generally, the least fun hunts in almost any given Monster Hunter are the, like, siege defense sort of uh, mm -hmm, hunts, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think, like, all right, which one was the best one of those, at least? Like, best of the worst, I guess, anyway. And I think it might be the one in... Which was the one that happened out in a desert? I feel like it might be one of the ones in Try, where you're sort of on, like, this sand skiff riding alongside the monster, and eventually it comes down to sort of, like, a face-off against it. Well, that's fun. Yeah, that one was, like, kind of cool. Like, still repetitive in the way that all of them are, but... Mm -hmm. Like, cool and varied in the theming, anyway. Malzeno is the name of the vampire dragon. Ooh. Sounds like a vampire name. He's very cool. That's some, someone you would either play as or fight against in a Castlevania. Guaranteed. Right. Oh, the Somnicants are kind of very snake-like. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, they're cool, too. They're like the ottery kind of like. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> I, 
I did to one of the monsters that's in uh, Rise and Sunbreak of like end game is Velstrax. That name's familiar. And uh, I don't know if I fought it though. That the the way it was described to me is like still the the first thing I think of with it. It feels like you you told like a kindergarten uh like kid to draw the coolest dragon they could picture <laughs> and then they made a monster hunter off of it like yeah he's got jet turbine wings and like <laughs> <laughs> okay actually now i can picture it yes <laughs> i think i've seen i've not fought it but i've uh I've, he's so silly i've seen images of this one before <laughs> It's 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 such a spectacle fight because it, it it's he, he like goes into the atmosphere and like you can see him like a comet in the sky and then just like hits the ground with this massive like supernova explosion gracious which will one shot you like if it hits you it's ridiculous of course very fun apologies to all Lance mains who are watching this I am reacquainting. Which is not to say that I'll ever get, like, good, but mm -hmm. better, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I do like uh, the o Odegaron, the the, the kind of just, like, small little angry guy in World. Oh, yeah. Just a little inside-out dog. I Yeah, I like him a lot, because... I like fighting him a lot because every spot on him is a weak spot, and it, that's very satisfying. <laughs> it's like, always yellow numbers. Thank you. That makes sense, yeah. That makes me happy. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, uh, Balhazak is up there for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, that one's cool. Two, just so cool looking. I haven't fought one of those in a while. All right, got a limpin' finally. Let's go for the capture. Wrap this sorry show up. Goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling much more like rust shaken off. Yeah, you had like a full proper hunt with two monsters. Yeah, gracious. Now, is that one going to go up and, like, actually go take a nap, or...? That's the question. And is the other, like, even if it is, is the other one going to be cool and actually let me... No. Always the answer. Place a trap. We're going to find out. All oh, I'm looking at this quest list. I'm remembering. I'm remembering things. There we go. Okay? Nice. I found the tracker. Finish up the expedition and let's meet back up. Let us run away from this other Legiana so we can complete expedition and head back. <laughs> Flee. I do at least appreciate, for us noobs out there, the occasional hunt that is an expedition, because there's no, like, all right, well, even if you faint a few times, whatever, just keep going until you get it. Yeah. Which is nice, every now and then. Okay. Return from expedition. Whew! That shouldn't have been that hard. It was a nice warm-up. It was a nice warm-up. Save me again. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you're safe. But really, I knew you would be. 
Guess I gave everyone a scare, huh? <sighs> You know, you remind me of myself. Always finding a way to the truth. Oh, yeah. You're always looking to guide the way. Take a look. More writings from my master's studies. The song, the monster's behavior. They're affecting the ecosystem. Seismic action, the old Everworm. I'm out of time. My story ends here. Songs, the ecosystem, old Everworm. Is this about Velcana? The shard originated from here, meaning Velcana's nest must be nearby. You're right. Its home must be here somewhere. We just gotta find it. So, who's in? I'm in. I want to learn more about Velkana. Together we can solve this mystery and make history. That's the spirit. That monster is growing in power. We can't chase after it now. Let's head back and regroup first. Okay. <laughs> Yay, let's go back. Wrap this episode up, get some actual proper two Dan hunts going. Oh man, it's so wild thinking about some of this. Are you just looking ahead at the <laughs> future attractions? I remembered <laughs> like the Final Fantasy 14 event. Right? <laughs> And I was like, I hadn't played Final Fantasy XIV yet when I got all this stuff. And it's it's oh, funny yeah. just thinking back on it now of like, so I understand this though. <laughs> and focus on the important matters at hand, shall we? Don't think you're getting away that easy. After we finish this meeting, you'll stick around for some advice from a concerned friend, all right? That said, those notes you found are definitely worrying. Song, impact on the ecosystem, old Everworm. Huh. I'm not ready to buy wholesale into some scratches we happen to find on a piece of cloth, but it's all eerily similar to what's going on. Well, at any rate, this is vital intel. I'll be sure to talk to my old man. Thanks. And be sure not to leave out a single detail, huh? Of course. Now, if we're sure that Velkana is back in the Reach, then we need to hurry with the weapon shipments from Astera. Uh, about that. Just a bit ago, we received a report that a subspecies of Anjanath was spotted along the route to the landing area. What? Why didn't you say so? If the weapon transport comes now, they're gonna get trampled. Sorry to ask you this when you've just gotten back, but could you two go out and hunt that Anjanath? Be on the lookout for the transport's arrival. And once your partner's taken care of the Anjanath, lead them here to Seliana. Roger that. We'll send word if any trouble pops up. I'm counting on you to bring everyone back safely. Good luck. Hmm. Sounds like next time we'll be fighting Anj Anjanath. Probably the Fulgar one, I'm sure. Yep, yep, yep. Fulgar Anjanath. That's good. I've, I've only seen them come in and be an interruption. Haven't gotten to properly fight him yet. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, let's get back to the gathering hub at least. Come on, Gwebers. Poor Jingle's just been sitting back here, nursing a drink, checking the clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we said we were going to meet here at three. <laughs> hmm. They never came. I guess they're running late. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We're going to see. See, and like now I can do this and I totally understand. <laughs> oh, I get it now. I get it. Yeah, I don't think I had started playing like 14 in earnest yet either by the time when, when I was seeing the Monster Hunter stuff. <laughs> It's so silly. And even like thinking back to the quest too of like they take one of the ether crystals that it's like, oh, wait, I know that thing now. Like, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was good times. All right, y'all, we will see you next time with hopefully more Dan's than just the one fighting things more quickly. I'm excited to see the rest of the monsters in this game. 
See you next week, everyone. Bye.